to you as you join us for this third series of daily devotions. I'm Jonathan from Hope Church Bromley Common and I want to share with you a few thoughts about Genesis 1. Other people's opinions are available elsewhere. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Full stop, amen and hallelujah. But it seems not a lot of people know that. The mind of man has left God out and all his conjecture and confusion. Faith on the other hand brings God in and everything is abundantly simple. Everything that has been created had a creator. Everything that's been made has a maker. Everything that has life has that life from the living God. Amen. Don't let the facts about creation confound your faith but rather allow your faith to confirm the facts. For it is by faith we understand that the worlds were made by the word of God. Hebrews 11. Amen. In verse 2 we find something extraordinary has happened. as a massive jump, even though it's only from one verse to another in our Bibles. It is huge, it's inestimable. Only God knows really what went on. But we find in scripture it described as without form, void, dead, dark, chaotic. And clearly something very extraordinary has happened to what God generated. It has clearly now degenerated. It's vital in the history of this planet because that's where the rocks are. That's where the oil, the gas, the coal, the tin, the gold, the silver, the precious gemstones, all of those things happened between five ice ages, intense heat and intense cold. And that is where we get what we are familiar with now as our planet. But in the end, it all died, including the dinosaurs. But it also says in verse two that the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. The Hebrew word there suggests divine interest and at just the right time. God spoke and he said, let there be light. This is the pattern of creation. Out of the light, out of the darkness came the light. Out of death came life. We sang about it earlier. And out of chaos came order. And this is the order of creation. We have it today. Six months ago, my garden was full of life. One month ago it looked dead, and now it is bursting forth with life again. Why? Because we have more light. The term Lent, amongst other things, means lengthen. We are having longer days, and creation rises and responds to the light, and the light brings the warmth, photosynthesis, and so on. Now, I haven't come to talk to you this morning about creation, or about geology, or about gardening, I want you to realise that whilst we may stand back in absolute awe at the work of our Creator God, He invites us to step forward into a relationship with Him as our Saviour God. And the pattern for creation is the same as the pattern for salvation. Paul writes to Titus and says, When the kindness of our Saviour God appeared, He saved us through the washing and regeneration of his Holy Spirit, who he poured out richly upon us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, I don't know who you are. I don't even know if anybody's listening. But I think your mother probably thought you were perfect when you were born. But it didn't take you very long to prove that she was wrong. We're all the same. We are born in a certain way, at least behaviourally, that appears to be perfect and then very quickly we're naughty, even as children. And we grow up and we change, we deteriorate, we actually degenerate. But you see, the Spirit of God is hovering over your life with divine interest. And he speaks into your life and he brings light and he brings life and he brings love. And he brings binding up of the broken hearted, all those things we sang about great 
are you Lord indeed? And so this morning as we consider these things, I want you just to move in your mind from that creator God to the saviour God and to know that that same God who spoke that out of darkness light should shine has shone into our hearts for the shining forth of the knowledge of God in the face of Jesus Christ. I trust that has been your life's experience and continues to be so. Now the verses go on to explain how God sets the world up pretty much as we know it to this day. And just remember, all things, bright and beautiful, all creatures, great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. May he bless you today and keep you safe. Bye for now.